Okay, welcome back. I know it's been a little while since my last video, but I've been trying out these different screen capturing things. I think I finally found it. I'm just going to try it out this one time. So let's get started. It's going to be a an interface kind of review for Pro Video Studio uh, Pro X3. So let's open it up. So you start off with this screen, the first is Advanced Edit, which is the actual program. There's also Easy Edit, which is just quicker, not as many options with effects and everything. There's DV to DVD Wizard, which is simple capture from your DV device and then burn straight to DVD. There's also the Burn, which is uh, you have the files and put them straight to DVDs. And there's also the widescreen mode, and we don't want this entire screen to show up because you can always access all of this through Advanced Edit. So let's just start, we're just going to do advanced edit today. <clears throat> okay, so it opens up to tab number two, which is edit. Um, I'm just going to start with the capture. So this is just kind of showing you how it starts off. It comes with preset, you know, stuff. A selection of preset videos and photos. So the green screen ones are mine. You can make things smaller and larger through that tab in the corner. Also, you can go to photo and video there. Down here is where you can actually capture video from an external device from a DV tape. Uh, from your computer and from discs and from the mobile, excuse me, mobile device. So I'm going to show you how to import from digital media, which is a computer. So I already have three folders that I want to import from, but if you want to add a new one, you click Select Import Source Folders, and it'll open up uh, a little screen. It'll open up this, and then you find the file, the folder, you put check on it, and it'll automatically do it. So let's just say I picked photographs, click OK, it'll show up down here. So I say, OK, I want to search this one down here. Highlight it, you select start, click OK, and there it is. You can make it up here, just select the videos, just show the videos that it has in that folder. Make it so it just shows the photos in that folder. Like I said, you can make it just show the photos in that folder, so it's there. Uh, I can show everything, so all pictures and all photos. Uh, sort by source folder, sort by time. You can want to select all of them, deselect all of them, and invert your selection. So invert is like if you want to click one, and invert it will unselect and click everything else. Easy. Again, you can zoom in out, you select the item you want, you click start import, and it'll import. So that's pretty much it, I don't want to go into the other ones because I don't have anywhere to get them from. So next is edit, it comes up with your screen, main, up, main thing you see is your timeline at the bottom, very easy to follow, you can also go to storyboard, it's too complicated for you. First is the movie track, or the video tracking they call it, yep. Yeah. And then there's the overlay track. Again, those two are pretty simple. There's your uh, title track, your first title track, you can have a selection of them, your voice track, and your music track. Again, you can have multiple music tracks. To add tracks, uh, where is it? You click track manager, and you can add two, three, four overlay tracks, you can add multiple music tracks, multiple title track, so on and so forth. So you select what you want, unselect what you want, and then click OK. Here at the bottom half of this screen is your options. You can lower them, bring them up. I'll get more into that in a minute. But, uh, and here's your viewer. So up here you've got your media folders, I guess. So video, all media, so that's all photos and all videos. Uh, videos or photos. So I'm just going to do videos. What you can do is for your primary video, all you have to do is click the video, drag it into the main video track. 
and then again, like you can click and drag something into the overlay track, and you can manipulate it, move it around, size it, mess with it a little bit, so on and so forth. Then next you have your crossover. It starts with just my favorites, but then you click on all. It does have a very generous selection. As so well, you have titles. Not so many this time, but they are pretty cool. You click on it to preview. And then you can add it in. Again, you can see you can get more content already. It'll have it flashing. That means I have an update that I need to install. Then here is just like blank screen colors. We've also got object pictures, frames, and then flash animation, which is just short, quick flash movies. If you click on it, play. That's not a flash right here. Click on it, play, and it'll click movie. Next is the effects. Again, that's all of them. They're not that many. One thing I noticed, there's no chroma key, but I will show you in a second how to do that. And then you've got audio preset in already. Anything with an M is like actual music. So, like that. And S is sound. Sound effects. And you can also import your own sound. Like that. Boom and group. Great band. So that's the sidebars. I'm going to show you now quickly how to do green screen effects. So what you want to do is click on your overlay track. So you move your overlay track. Pop up your options menu. I'm going to say mask and chroma key. Easy. You just click that. And then you click your little... One sec. Okay. Sorry. You click apply and overlay options. Chroma key. It should automatically select the dominant color, but if it doesn't, and you want to choose a different one, you just click the eyedropper, click wherever you want, and then it'll select the color for you. And then once you select it, unselect the dropper, move it around, move the picture, hide in it, everything. Exit this, and then click on those numbers there to drag your cursor around, and then play. player video. So that's pretty sweet. Um, your next is the share bar, which you have multiple options. You can create a video file, create a sound file, create a disk, upload to YouTube, upload to Vimeo, export to mobile device, HDV recording, DV recording, and project playback. Simple, very self-explanatory. Up here you've got your file to open new projects, export, so on and so forth, edit tab, tools, and settings. Tools is where you can get into the different programs that it has, so this is Easy Edit. I've told you before, there's TV to DVD Wizard, DVD Factory Pro, which is Burn, and then Painting Creator. One last thing I want to show you is up here in the corner, there's that little arrow. There's Help and Product Information. So you open it, go home, and it'll just quick kind of tell you what this does. But learn, it'll give you quick tutorials. Um, how to do everything. It's written, it's not shown. Uh, get more. This will show. See, right here, I didn't see this before, but it gives you updates and add ons and stuff. Do more. Uh, how to do more with your editing, I guess. Uh, and then messages, any messages that Corel has to give you. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. If there's anything else, I will tell you. Uh, please stay tuned for my interface video for the PaintShop Photo Pro X3 that is coming soon, I guarantee it. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.